Hey everyone, Joel Hans here. Today we're outside Sylvester's Big Hot and Juicy Burgers. Today taking on their Big One Challenge. This is about a five pound burger um, consisting of basically you choose like one of their types of burgers. So that you can do like the regular, which is like, you know, cheese, lettuce, tomato, onion. They have ones with like avocado, etc., etc. Um, two and a half pounds of beef, apparently, and then two and a half pounds of fixings, apparently. You have 30 minutes to complete it. Um, that's about that. I did a challenge. I'm very full, to be honest with you, but I hopefully will be able to get this done. It is $55 if we do not complete the challenge in the 30 minutes, and if we do, we get a free t-shirt and the burger for free. So let's go on in. Let's have some fun. Wish us luck. Really cool looking spot. It's like a bright yellow little dome thing. We are here in Los Osos of the Bears. Um, California, kind of like a uh, St. Louis Abismo area. So yeah, pretty cool. So let's go get some food, have fun. Let's go eat. Hey everyone, so here with the challenge, a uh, very big patty, lots and lots lots of vegetables on it. And then it's absolutely doused in their Sylvester sauce, which is like a Thousand Islands kind of mayonnaise style thing. See it all there. But yeah, we got tomatoes, onions, lettuce, pickles. So yeah, that's pretty much it guys. So 30 minutes, we'll get started here just momentarily. All right, everyone, so like we said, 30 minutes uh, starts when I take my first bite. So maybe I'll start with some of these healthy vegetables. Good way to get some of these out of the way. So how about we get started? We'll save the count of five, four, three, two, one. Cheers, let's go. Good luck, boss. Okay. go. Lots of veggies. Hey everyone, welcome to this Today we are here in the beautiful coast, just the coastline of California, Los Osos on the Gold Coast. So this is kind of in the uh, San Luis Abismo area, um, and there's a couple locations of these Sylvester's around, but I'm at the Los Osos location. Here taking on the Big One Challenge, and it was a big one. At least we'll get our fiber in today. So the challenge is a five pound burger. Again, as I mentioned, you can select kind of the type you want. I just kind of went with the standard Sylvester burger or whatever, but you could choose the California burger, which had avocado on it, um, etc. So you did have some options and variations. However, they said they all end up weighing five pounds because they weigh out the toppings. Good luck, man. Thank, Thank you. you. Woo. That's a mouthful of onions, everybody, that's for sure. Like I said, healthy vegetables. I'll check the temperature of this patty. It's very hot. Got that char grill flavor in there though. Tastes good. Salt, pepper. It definitely needs to cool off a bit still. So I'll keep going with these vegetables. Lots of pickles too. So I had already eaten in the day, but I figured I would stop on by and give this a try since I was in the area. A um, very cool location. I will say this is kind of in the middle of nowhere, arguably, but the area, again, is in general just gorgeous. It is so lush. I mean, you have that coastline so close by, and uh, it just screams like surfer town, beach town. I mean, the outside of this place was really cool looking as well. So that's kind of what I'd put, like beach post surfer town blah 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 vibes that's a hundred percent what I was getting from this place and from the area. It's actually a really good taste of burger. Nice and salty.
definitely a whole tomato on this thing too. My vegetables that go down easy at least. Now beef and buns, very saucy. At this location, I believe they said there's only been three winners, and then again, there have been hundreds of attempts. Um, they have kind of pictures all over the place of all the failures, but very, very few winners. Um, so again, we we're hoping to join that elite list of winners for this challenge. Um, overall, it was a good tasting burger. I liked the way they seasoned the patty. Um, I did ask a cook for about a medium, medium rare. Um, and just the uh, kind of like the char grill, char broil flavor, I really liked. They definitely had a lot of salt on this. I'm not sure if it was a specific like burger seasoning they were using, but definitely a lot of salt, quite a bit of pepper. Um, and I mean, I, for myself, I'm pretty basic. I think salt, pepper on beef is always delicious. Of course, I had a little bit of ketchup, and then they had a load of that Sylvester sauce, which is basically just a Thousands Islands dressing. Um, but man, did they ever load that on there. Um, the buns were, uh, you know, a fair size, I think, as per the challenge. And overall, I think it was quite a proportional burger, if that makes sense. Ooh! No short food. You know what the flavor reminds me of? An e w burger. They have, like, a Thousand Island dressing, one of their burgers. Tastes just like this. We did have to pay for the burger in advance, so it was $55, and then we would get the refund uh, if we were to complete it. Again, free meal, t-shirt. Um, overall though, I believe that's like pretty much the majority of the information, pretty straightforward. It is a large burger, um, I mean lots of, uh, like I said, lots of sauce on that, but even the sauce was actually optional. Um, even though they did have like, you know, again, you pick the kind of burger, like the Sylvester burger, the original, the California, um, it sounded like they al might allow some like substitutions, so I'm sure like for an example, um, if I didn't want the Sylvester sauce, I could have chose like ketchup, and maybe, uh, you know, if you didn't like onions, you probably could have doubled the lettuce or something like that. Like I said, basically all they cared about is that the toppings equaled five pounds, um, and then the sauce I think was on top of that five pounds, but like I said, definitely very generous with that sauce. That being said, guys, let me know if you've ever been to this area of California and what you think of it. I thought it was a really cool, unique area. Like I said, definitely kind of surfer vibes. And uh, at that, let's get to the rest of the video. Hopefully we can complete this challenge and ultimately let's see what happens. The last bit of the patty. Ooh, no shards, that's for sure. The sauce was optional on the burger. 
I didn't realize they put so much of it on it. I was going to just skip the semester sauce, but it is good. Rich though. Very rich. All right, everybody. Basically, just buns left. A few veggies. And we're probably about 11 minutes in. Get this done. Woo. I mean, coming on about 13 and a half in. Woo! One and a half the bun left. The bottom soaked. Italian dressing half. It'll be interesting. There's 15 minutes left. Thank you. The timer said 15 and a half, but <laughs> nonetheless. Everybody, but coming on about 16 and a half. Just as left. Slowly but surely. Probably somewhere about 17-ish minutes. I'll double check that we are officially complete, but really cool spot. Like I said, it's really like unique outposts, kind of old looking place. The place has been here since 1988, and they said that there has only been a very small handful of winners on the Burger Challenge, just by hundreds of attempts. So we will get a picture of the Wall of Fame. Sweet teacher, the meal for free. So like I said, let me just double check, and uh, yeah, we'll be back here momentarily. Yeah, that's all right. Cool. Okay. All right, so we officially got the win, which is cool. So uh, with that, like I said, we get our fifty dollars back or fifty-five technically from Burger Sweet T-shirt, and uh, that's about that. Wall of Fame. So with that, everyone, hope you enjoyed today's video. Cool area out here. And of course, the next time, say happy, a hungry, happy eating. And that, have a lovely day. Everyone, while we're down in the area, we had to go to one of the most notable locations around. This is the Madonna Inn. So the Madonna Inn is not made by Madonna the singer, but Madonna family. Madonna family is a very well-known prestigious family in the area. There's places like literally streets and areas named after it. So now 
why this place is so popular. So this inn, although it has like 111 different rooms, they're all themed rooms. And every single one is actually different. It is a different theme. So they have like a couple really noted rooms. Man, I am red, I got burnt today. Um, they, uh, like one is called the Madonna Room, which is a mostly pink room. There's another room which is all pink. Um, that is booked over a year and plus in advance. They have uh, kind of dining areas and they're known for these giant cakes. If you see those giant, giant, giant cakes in there, they're closed at the moment, so we can't really go in, but just like extreme sized cakes, those things are easily a foot tall. Um, reminds me kind of like, oh wow, look, there's one right there. Just show how many layers that is. That reminds me of kind of like get the big Texan. Oh, there's a big cream pie. That looks, that looks pretty good down there, just saying that. Um, so, yeah, so that's in the bakery, and then they have obviously the the dining room in here. I'm gonna see if it is, is it open. It's open here. Let's check this out. So if you see, look at all this. Uh, look at the silverware. Look at the, the the mugs and the glasses. Really, really, really cool. Really decked out. Just everything in here is very timey, very unique. They're selling uh, little chocolates of a large variety, and yeah, like the goblets. I guess I, I call it a goblet. Like I said, just really unique looking. How you doing? Check out these chairs, the woodwork. This is like a very unique place. So this is definitely, again, one of the most, uh, I'd say, prestigious and well-known kind of attractions in the area. Um, look at this. Look at the, they have, I mean, the art they have all around here. That's pretty impressive. You know, while you are sitting and dining, each one is different. Pretty dang impressive to say the least. Um, I think that is the most, here we go. Maybe if we head over here, we might be able to see a little bit more. Heading over here. We have uh, another kind of area. Very, again, beautiful stained glass. We have a big fireplace. That is super cool. Again, check out this woodwork. Just so impressive. And I mean, this part of the restaurant honestly looks like completely different than where we were just a minute ago. Um, really kind of, again, speaking to the diversity of this place. Coming in the lobby. Oh my gosh, look at this. So we have, I imagine that's the Madonna family. We have some shirts and some eloquent pieces of clothing, that is for sure. Some chairs. And then, just further more, we got a boutique. We have a clothing store up there. We have everybody from Peter Rabbit to this area of the dining. Wow, look at this. This is all pink. Literally, look at this. This is a pink dining room, everybody. Look at this, this is crazy. We have uh, the booths, we have the napkins, we have the flowers and the, you know, the walls. Everything, just pink. The wallpaper, that is very extravagant. And that's really what they were going for with the history of this place. They have real stones up here in the walls and the rooms sometimes have real stones but yeah this place is just decked out to a t uh, again more kind of stained glass coming over here we have more eloquent pieces no worries such as these mirrors the pink embroidered you know kind of chairs look at this cabinet oh my lord this is crazy I knew this was going to be cool, but I had no cool to just which extent that this place was going to stand. Coming over here, we have the piano stage, where they have the pianos. The red lit lights give a really nice hue. They have the chariots. And then more pink to be had. Wow, let's, uh, let's see what else we can find. Coming around the corner, we have another massive fireplace, to say the least. Quite decadent. How you doing? We have a number of different flowers. We have a 
very unique chandelier, I will add. Again, just this extravagant woodwork. Absolutely impressive. The carpet on the flooring is pink as well, embroidered with flowers of all kinds. This just goes on and on and on, and the diversity of this place just extends further and further. Come over here, another little area. Lots of pink. A bar, you could say, with more pink and more pink and a little bit of blue and a little bit of red, but lots more pink. If we come downstairs, this is towards the wine cellar, although it is closed at the moment. You can get an idea of, again, just how decorated this place is. It's green down here. And then we have this little stone pieces, which is pretty interesting. Some kind of a, I don't know, just a hole in the wall. We'll see this bathroom looks interesting. I mean, again, the way everything is decked out, I would not be surprised. Oh my gosh, look at this. This is crazy, everybody. Look at this. This is... This is like real, I don't even know what the, like, is that a stone? I think that's a, well this is real stone for sure. I think this is like, wow, arguably like stone set? It almost looks like a big clam shell to me. That is crazy. And then, this, this is, this is the urinal. Guys, this is a big rock basin that you pee in. I'm gonna pee here in just a second. Then we have this, like just the, look at this, the birds on the wall, the green. The stall looks, well normally like the stall, but this is pretty cool, the stall door. There you go guys, coolest bathroom ever. All right, I'm now going to pee here. I won't take that, I won't take you with me on that. All right, not to be whatever, but how, oh, what the, look at this guys, as I'm peeing, it's waterfall. Like, they have some kind of a sensor, I guess. Yeah, the sensor right beside me, which as I pee, the water, it, it creates a waterfall. Which, you know, I'm gonna try not to show my genitals here, but it creates a waterfall. That is the coolest thing ever. So, yeah, by far the coolest place I've ever peed as it has an active waterfall while you pee. So, just saying, that's probably the first and only time I will ever take you guys with me to pee, but that is damn cool. This place is bomb diggity. And man, I am starting to feel that burning sensation. I got roasted in the sun, everybody. My Canadian skin is not used to this. Ouch, this California sun. Oof, I'm gonna feel that in the morning, I'll tell you that much. Um, but yeah, guys, coolest bathroom ever, ever, ever. That is for sure. Uh, yeah, I don't know if we're gonna find anything else, but this place far exceeded my expectation. By far, probably the coolest place of, like, building I might have ever been in in my life. Now, it is an absolute shame I will not be here on Easter. I'm sure this would be an excellent, excellent buffet. I'm sure this will be incredible quality. And I would love to deck out this buffet. Oh well guys, maybe next time.